Hello everyone, welcome to my videos on elementary differential equation. This is the second video in chapter 2. In this video, we will go through three short examples of how to use the method of integrating factors. So the formula of this method um, was derived in the previous video and here we're going to apply it and see how to work out the solution. Okay, let's get started. We begin with the linear um, equation with constant coefficient. y prime plus ay equals b. a and b are two constants and a is not zero. Comparing this equation to the standard form, we see that here we have p that's the function in front of y, pt is a, and the g is the right-hand side, gt is b. Okay, so let's use the formula to compute the integrating factor mu of t. The formula is it's exponential of integral of pt dt. And let's plug in the p, which is a, and we see that we have a simple integral of a constant. So this and integrates to at, and then we get e to the at. Once we have computed the integrating factor mu, we can now use the formula for the solution directly, and we see that this is 1 over mu times, and, uh, and there is an integral here, mu t times gt, an arbitrary constant. Okay, so let's put in mu, mu is e to the at, so this is e to the negative at, and we have to integrate e to the at times b, which is a constant, dt. So you can move the b outside, and you just end up integrating the exponential function. Okay, pull out what you learned in calculus, and we know that the integral of this is um, b over a e to the at plus a constant. And then we see we can um, distribution this factor into two terms. If I multiply e to the negative at on e to the at, I get 1. So I just get a term b over a. And then I get a second term c times e to the negative at. Okay, so this is the general solution, um, which contains a arbitrary constant c. So finally, I would like to catch your attention to the position where we add the integration constant. Okay, so the c goes into this bracket, and uh, 1 over mu t is multiplied outside. So in the end, the c times inverse of mu would occur in the solution. Okay, so that's all for this example. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, in this example, we have the equation y prime plus y equal e to the negative 2t. So if you want to simply use the formula, um, we can compare this with the standard form and found out that pt is one constant, and gt is the right-hand side, that's e to the 2t. Then we can use the formula to find the integrating factor mu t. And this is the formula. And uh, plug in p, which is one, and this gives you t, so I have e to the t, just the exponential function. And then, we can form the solution using this formula. I repeat it so um, we look at it enough times that we will manage to memorize it and make our life easier here. Okay, and so plug it in, e to the negative t for that, and I have to integrate e to the t, gt is e to the 2t plus a constant. Okay, and then combine these two terms, I will get e to the 3t. Everything else remains the same. And then we need to integrate e to the 3t, which is one third e to the 3t plus a constant. 
and then finally I distribute um, this um, exponential function onto the two terms. So then the 3 becomes 2 because I subtract the t, 30 to the 2t, and then plus the second term e times e to the negative t. Okay, so the solution consists of two terms. The first term is an exponential growth term and uh, with a fixed constant 1 over 3 in the front. And the second term is an exponential decay term with an arbitrary constant c. Okay, so here's an extra question for you to ponder. Can you discuss the behavior of this solution as t goes to plus infinity or negative infinity? So think about it. Okay, so the third example here looks a bit more complicated. We have a linear equation with variable coefficient functions. So here is our equation, 1 plus t squared y prime plus 4ty equal 1 plus t squared, the whole thing to the power negative 2. And uh, the initial condition is given y at 0 equal 1. Okay, so um, no matter how it looks like, um, we have the formula and we can just write the equation into that um, standard form. Um, the standard form has a constant 1 in front of y prime. So what we need to do is divide this equation here on both sides with 1 plus t squared. We can always do that because 1 plus t squared is bigger than 1. It will never be 0. Okay, then we get this expression with uh, 4t over 1 plus t squared in front of y and uh, 1 plus t squared to the negative 3 on the right hand side. Okay, so now this is in the standard form where pt is this function we put here and gt is the right hand side and we put here. So we know that there are two integrals we need to carry out. The first one is the integral to compute mu where we have to integrate p. So let's plug the p here. So this is the integral we need to work out. So how do we compute this integral? And you see that there is a t squared term here and there is a t term here. So this gives me the idea of uh, doing substitution. So let's think um, t squared as a variable. If I put here, and then um, I would take away 2t dt to form a dt squared, and then I have another 2 in the front. Okay, so if you prefer, you can call um, w equal t squared and then write this as dw1 plus w, if you're more comfortable with that. Okay, and then the integral of this 2 over 1 plus w dw is uh, the natural log, so 2 times ln of 1 plus w, which is t squared. Okay, so um, how can we simplify this expression? So first we see that the number 2 here can be moved over in the natural log and to be the power 2. So we'll have natural log 1 plus t square square. Okay, and then now we see we have exponential function composing on the natural log function. These cancel each other. I will just get 1 plus t square square. Okay, so this is our integrating factor. Okay, once we have found the integrating factor, we can just plug it in to form the general solution. So 1 over mu, that's why we have this term in the denominator, and then we have to integrate mu, which is this term here, times g, which is this term here, dt, plus a constant. And we see that the first two terms can be combined. 2 minus 3 is negative 1. I just have that term. I have to integrate 
1 over 1 plus t squared dt. So, and the antiderivative of this function we know is the arctan function. So we'll have arctan of t plus c over 1 minus t squared squared as our general solution. Finally, since the initial condition is given, then we will need to find the constant c in the general solution by using the initial condition, y0 equal 1. So let's compute y0. Setting t to be 0, we have arctan of 0, which is 0, plus c. And if t is 0, the denominator is 1, so this simply equals c. And then the initial condition says c must be 1. Okay, now we can um, put that back and have the final form of the solution that also satisfies the initial condition, where we put the value 1 for c. Okay, so um, these are three um, rather simple examples. And I hope um, you feel more comfortable with this method and hopefully um, manage to memorize that simple formula. Okay, that's all for this video. And uh, in the next video, we'll go through some more examples. I hope you enjoyed this one and uh, I'll see you next time.